The tug of a line is the feeling anglers chase. This blue catfish was caught in December in a tributary off the Nanakoke River. It was about 60 pounds, and that's about the size when researchers think blue cats can eat anything, including a wood duck. <laughs> it was kind of just a big surprise in the lab one night uh, while I was in there late working by myself. I got a text that from Zach at seven at night when he cut it up and saying, I'm like, I got to run over there. That's crazy. Zach Crum is a graduate student in the applied biology program at Salisbury University with Dr. Noah Bresman as his professor. Crum is collecting blue catfish with Maryland Department of Natural Resources by electrofishing. What it does is it temporarily stuns these fish and they kind of float to the surface. And then we have crew on the electrofishing boat scooping them up with nets. Their stomachs are then frozen and analyzed. Speaking of stomachs, we blurred this picture for the sake of your own. They found a duck in a fish that was collected in October. As you opened it, how did you know that it was a wood duck? What I saw was these little fuzzy looking black things. I just saw one or two right at first. So. Immediately, I thought that's out of the ordinary for sure. I opened, you know, 50 to 100 fish before this one. What it came down to was really identifying the top segment of the bill was very intact and in good condition. And that's what kind of allowed us to identify the species. Crumb believes it's the first identified duck that has been documented in the stomach of a catfish as part of a formal diet study. Why is that significant to you? It's indicative of how aggressive these fish are and how willing they are to just scoop up anything that they can get their mouths on. Crumb says there's no way of knowing how it was eaten on the surface of the water or just below. But he says it could have swallowed the duck whole since they already know blue cats can eat large meals. They start eating things that perhaps didn't have predators before or they start overeating and eating too many things for, let's say, competing with the bass or the striped bass or other fish there. There'll be less food for them to eat. Come here, Bubba. In the Bay, blue catfish oh, are an invasive so species, now. meaning they eat native ones like the beloved blue crabs and rockfish. If they can eat an adult duck, they can really eat anything. The research is meant to analyze the diets of blue catfish on the eastern shore. Crumb says that area hasn't been looked at heavily like it has on the western shore. Our goal is kind of to try to provide fisheries managers some insight into what these fish are eating on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay. He plans to collect and analyze fish for a year. The best thing that you can do as someone who is interested in helping out with this invasive is to go out and go fishing for blue catfish. Um, and eat them. Let's eat them all to death. It might have started as a game of duck, duck, goose, but we know it was a duck that a blue catfish had in his stomach. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.